Hi, my name is Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thank you for joining me again this week for your weekly horse training tip. Last week we discussed the importance of never taking no for an answer. If you missed it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you won't miss any others. This week's horse training tip is all about the importance of riding from back to front. This simply means that you as the rider pay more attention to the horse's back end than you do his front end. The back half of the horse is where you go to make corrections and to encourage the horse to try harder. We as human beings operate a lot with our eyes and our hands. It's instinctual for us to try to fix problems that we see with our eyes with our hands. But you'll notice that if you follow all of your human instincts with your horses, you'll actually impede your communication with them. A lot of riding horses is actually not following your instincts, such as when you're riding, your instincts tell you to curl up into the fetal position, but that just ends up being more dangerous. Also, your instincts might tell you to scream when you're near horses if you're afraid, but again, that can be more dangerous. You'll notice that if you always follow all of your human instincts, that you will never truly be able to speak the language of the horse. While you're riding, it's important that you train yourself to not follow all of your basic human instincts. If you do, you'll end up fighting with your horse's face through the bit. This is what riding from front to back means. This way you will never develop a clear communication and a harmonious relationship. In an attempt to keep things simple, I tell my students that if you don't like what your horse is doing with his front end, drive his hind end. If you drive your horse's hind end with your leg, your seat, or your whip, you're always going to get a better result than if you just try fixing things using the bit. As a judge, I can always tell when the horse is being trained correctly from back to front during the walk portion of the dressage test. During the free walk, the rider lets the reins go long and the horse stretches forward and downward to maximum length. The second clue is the biggest. This is when the rider shortens the horse's body and shortens the reins to prepare for the trot. If everything goes smoothly, this is a sign to me that the horse is comfortable the way that the rider is communicating. The horse is comfortable in being ridden from back to front. When the horse is happy and willing to elongate his body in the free walk, and then just as happy and willing to compact his body into the medium walk, this is my sign that the horse is being ridden correctly from back to front. When the horse breathes a sigh of relief, when the rider allows a longer rein, then the horse becomes uh, anxious and starts snapping at the bit and rooting the reins and flinging his head in the air. When the rider is preparing for the trot within the medium walk, this is the sign that the horse is uncomfortable with the way he's being ridden. He's most likely being ridden from front to back. He's not waiting calmly for the next message from his rider. He's anxious about the communication. I have a few examples of uh, what a horse looks like that is being trained correctly from back to front. You can specifically see in the transitions from collected walk to free walk, from collected walk to trot, from trot to canter, the horse is waiting for the messages and is comfortable with the communication. So take a look at these few videos.
Thank you so much for joining me again this week for your weekly horse training tip. If you like this video, be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get weekly notifications. This is Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage signing off. I'll see you next week.